different Windows operating system from Microsoft uh, website as trial versions that will work for a specific duration. Some of them will work for 180 days, some of them will work for, for 90 days, but after all, those are Windows trial version. So I downloaded all the Windows trial version and I kept them in a share folder on my external hard drive. Now it's time to set up those Windows ISO images as a virtual machine. So getting back to the VMware player, I already downloaded and installed VMware player, but it doesn't have any machine inside virtual machine. So we're going to start creating Windows virtual machine. So when you open VMware player, you're going to see that you have two different options. You have create a new virtual machine and open a virtual machine. If you have an ISO image, it's like a CD. You have an operating system on a CD and you create a complete new virtual machine using this ISO image and you configure it. Well, if you have a virtual machine that you downloaded from the internet, you can just open the virtual machine. You don't need to create it. And we're going to see both options. So we're going to start with creating a new virtual machine. I will click on create a new virtual machine and it will start a wizard with different option. Uh, for so the first step, he will ask you that if you want to plug the CD that uh, or, or, or you want to install the CD that has the operating system or you're going to install the operating system later. So I'm going to keep the last option, which is I need to create a virtual machine right now. And later on, I'm going to install the operating system because actually the operating system is not an, on a CD. It's on an ISO image uh, saved on my hard drive. So I'm going to keep this one. Then he's going to ask me the virtual machines that you're going to create. Uh, what kind of operating system it will have. So in my case is Windows and when you choose Windows you'll find here different Windows option. Well if you choose Linux you'll find here different Linux uh, distribution and so on. So please consider that while you are creating a virtual machine that you need to specify the operating system. In my case it's Windows and for me it will be Windows 2012 and Depend on what operating system you're going to use, you choose the right uh, uh, option and click on next. Now, this is very important. He will name this Windows uh, or he will name the uh, machine Windows Server 2012. Fine. And it will be saved in this location. As I mentioned uh, in, in uh, uh, earlier, that if you kept all the virtual machine on the C drive, this will be a big problem for you because those machines are, are actually big size files most of them are more than six or seven gb or even more so you should always keep them on an external hard drive or a separate hard drive at least another local hard drive if you have enough space but you should not be on the c drive so in my case and as i explained earlier i prefer to have all the virtual machine on my external hard drive which will help me to if i need to move this virtual lab somewhere else or in another computer it would be easy just unplug the hard drive from here and plug it somewhere else. So here I have on my uh, on my hard drive VM uh, and ISO, and I kept all of them, all my virtual machine in VM, and I already have a virtual machine under the same name, 2012. So I can create another one, and I will name it uh, Windows uh, 2012 2. So Windows. 2012 2 for instance <clears throat> and click on ok so the virtual machine will be saved here and click on ok and next he will take by default 60 GB from your hard drive it's not like that he gonna block 60 GB but what will happen it that he will the hard drive of this virtual machine can expand up to 60 GB and next okay and finish so a virtual machine has, has been created but if you try to open this virtual machine by right click on it and power on nothing will start it's like you bought a new computer but it doesn't have windows yet so it will start but no operating system is there so the next step that we need to start installing on this virtual machine windows server 2012 to do that, first you can go here and go to the setting, right click on the virtual machine and the setting, 
and here you can change this virtual machine setting because this is a virtual machine acting as a physical machine so it's taking resources from your own computer so for instance right now this machine is, has uh, 2 GB of RAM you can add or increase according to the available resources that you have so I can make it 4 for instance or 1 if I don't have enough resources but since my computer has 16 GB so 2 GB will be fine especially that I'm going to have more and more virtual machine uh, uh, going to the CD and DVD, you can see that right now this computer is using your physical CD drive. So the virtual machine is using the physical. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to ask him to, instead of using the physical drive, I want him, this virtual machine, to use an ISO image that I saved somewhere. So I'm going to click on use ISO image and I'm going to click on browse and then I'm going to point to the virtual machine. ISO image that I downloaded earlier. So going here and going to the uh, ISO images and this is my virtual machine click on OK so it's like you plugged a CD with the operating system you, I'm sorry you, you, you added a CD with the operating system inside your computer so now once you start it you're going to start installing Windows Server 2012 so if you installed any operating system before uh, you should not face any problem doing it but if it's uh, the installation of operating system is new, new to, to you you can follow my steps and you will not face any problem so while it's doing that while it's doing the installation I'm gonna parallelly install another operating system which would be 2008 on another uh, Windows uh, another virtual machine so here uh, it starts the installation process. He's asking you what kind of operating system, the language, the keyboard, and everything. You keep everything as it is. You don't need to change anything unless you need to change the language or something. Next, and install now. And because Windows Server 2012 got more than one edition, you will get a list with a different edition. So here you can see we have the standard, the data center, we, you have the uh, uh, graphical and core do not install core core will install the uh, command line operating system so we need the GUI so I'm going to choose the uh, standard GUI second one and we're going to click on next and this is the license agreement and I know that no one is reading it but you should know what is the license agreement and click on next and you have two options in installation. Is it uh, upgrading Windows? I mean, do you already have a Windows on this virtual machine and you need to upgrade it to a higher operating system? Or it's a custom installation. You're going to choose a custom installation because it's a new installation. It's not an upgrade process. And then next. And you're going to start installing Windows Server 2010. It's that easy. Now, to repeat that, I'm going to show you another step which is uh, installing Windows 8. Same, the same way we did with Server 2012, we're going to do it with Windows Server 8. And if you got the point, you can install yourself the remaining operating system, Windows Server 2016, Windows Server 2008, and so on. So here, one more time, we're going to go to create a new virtual machine. And we're going to keep, I will install my operating system later. This time, from Microsoft Windows, I'm going to choose Windows uh, 8 and instead of a server I'm going to choose a client so we have here Windows 8 and click on next you should uh, specify the location of installation so let me just uh, go to my external hard drive here you go into the ISO and into the virtual machine and I will create a folder for it I'm going to name it Windows 8 Uh, 8-2 because I already have Windows 8 so I'll change the name and click on OK and make sure that the path has been changed excellent click on next okay I'm gonna keep that next and finish 
So now we have a Windows 8 virtual machine, except it doesn't have an operating system yet. So I'm going to repeat the same step. Right click on it, go to setting, and I will keep all the settings the same. You can change that according to your need, but right now I'm going to keep everything the same. I'm just going to go to the CD DVD and change the ISO image instead of uh, using the physical uh, drive. I'm going to ask him to use the specific ISO image and I'm going to point to the ISO image that uh, are, uh, I saved on my virtual machine that uh, include Windows 8. So here, sorry, it's not this one. It's, we have Windows 8. Here you go. And click on OK and start your virtual machine. So we're going to have two virtual machine and installing their operating system on the same time. And unless you have enough resources, you'll not be able to do that. I mean, it's because I have some good amount of RAM. I can even open more virtual machine and start configuring, configuring them uh, parallelly. But if you have all the RAM and memory that you have on your machines, like 4 GB, it will be hard to do that. You're going to have to do it computer by computer. So one of the recommendations that you should have good amount of memory in your computer, at least 8 GB. Okay. Uh, we're also going to start the first and uh, initial uh, setting until it starts installing. Then we're going to move to the next lecture. Same setup uh, windows. He starts by asking about the language, the keyboard, and everything. We'll click on next and install now. License agreement, we're going to accept it and click on next. And you remember, we have two options, upgrade the operating system or custom installation. But because it's a new installation, you can choose custom and the hard drive. Here, he didn't ask me for what uh, uh, edition you need to install because in Windows Server, they have more than edition, while in clients, they only have one edition. So we didn't get this one regarding core or GUI and click on OK. And once he starts the installation, we're going to keep it. It may take around 20 minutes or something, but it will be installed. And you can repeat the same steps uh, for different operating system until you got all your Windows uh, operating system uh, installed and you have different uh, virtual machine uh, ready to be used. So we are repeating the steps. You don't have to. We don't have to repeat the steps again. This is how to install the Windows uh, operating system into the virtual machine. Next step will be how to download and install Kali Linux, which will be our main ethical hacking tools. So let's see how to do that.